Chair, recognize the council member from the 10th district. You know, um, there has been, at the first meeting you had two landlords who spoke against it who are known to all of us, okay? And then 30 days later, with great hullabaloo and tape over the mouths and placards, you get four speakers who really all they offered was intimidation. That's all they offered. Two of them went so far as to tell you they like our soapbox. And I would recommend to those four the way to do that. I've, I've been opposed in my last four elections. You want the soapbox, you, you get 20 signatures, and you go out and you knock on the doors and you see how you fare, okay? One of the speakers on Tuesday night did that and only got 18 votes in the primary, thus achieving the only record of only person ever getting less than they had submitted on their petition. All right, the public, there are 50,000 people in this community, and you've heard from seven, and they didn't do anything to advance this debate. Now, Mr. Becker came up with the five idea, and that was to allow flexibility. Now, last month, we accommodated your desire to have a sunset provision, so this expires in June. You pulled a Sweeney on us and you voted against it after we adopted your amendment. All right, but I think we did it in good faith. I don't think referring it's going to gain you anything. In fact, it's going to muddle the waters because I think, Mr. Matty, am I right? It is now a duly constituted rule, rule of the city council and would take two thirds to repeal it. Mr. Attorney, would you like to comment on that? It takes a two-thirds supermajority to enact a new rule. What was done right now is a reconsideration, which simply requires a majority vote. So right now it is Reconsid Reconsideration would be 50%, but to change the rule would require a two-thirds vote, would it not? Your rules require a two-thirds supermajority vote to enact or change a rule. Correct. So we have an existing rule which says no public hearings as of January 1st for a trial period through June June something or other, and it would take two thirds to change that. Correct. Right. So, um, I, and you can't knock what you haven't tried, and I think we need to try it. I think this is, I've been around here a long time. This is the biggest single advance in governance here that I have yet to witness. Now, the bar is pretty low for that because we really haven't done anything in my time here to improve governance. So, this is not only a significant thing, but it's probably the first. Um, and so I don't know that anything is to be gained in referral, nothing. Uh, and I think, frankly, we should try it. And if it doesn't work, then we can repeal it. Postpone, though, is different than a referral. It's postponing Robert's rule of order. I have the floor, Mr. Farmer. Thank you. Excuse me? Chair, recognize the council member from the 10th district. If there is none, Chair, recognize a council member from the 10th district. Hopefully it takes two thirds ultimately for that to pass. I think um, that's putting an awful lot on Thursday night, Mr. Mattinger. Um, I realize everybody wants to accommodate you here, um, but I, I have been here when public hearings took us to two in the morning and we began our regular committee of the whole then um, and that's one of the reasons it was on a separate night. Uh, public hearings have been kind of light as of late uh, by comparison, um, but Mr. Sequist was also here uh, reporting on these meetings when we used to routinely run on Tuesday night to two to three in the morning. Uh, and if that ever were to do, uh, that, that just makes it to where you're then doing the important stuff when you can hardly stay awake. Recognize the council member for had a public hearing ever anywhere, and we're going to do it on simple majority vote. This is something only Mrs. Richmond could have dreamed up. <laughs> council member for the we, I want to point this out. We can't afford public hearings on Thursday night. We, we, I want to point this out. We can't afford public hearings on Thursday night. We, we, I want to point this out. We can't afford public hearings on Thursday night. We can't handle a simple rule change in an hour's time. You know, we're not even done here. We sure have got ourselves into a conundrum here tonight.